So, anyways, back to these guys. You've been with them since 2019. On and off. On and off. Sure. And it seems, you know what? Um, Jitty asked me, he was like, hey, come here. Um, what do you think about the situation? And I was like, that's one thing I didn't want to get into. Because I'm like, oh, my goodness. I know everybody. Now, everybody's got eyes on me. They're all looking at me like, what okay. do you think? Yeah. What do you think? What's going on? Like, sure. me, you know? No, I don't. Really. And I'm like, <laughs> they all have eyes that like they want a response from me like on a situation. I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like, it's not my life. It's not my contract that was being broken. And I tried. We had like a, a minute or two to talk. And I'm like, what do you expect someone to do if they're breaking contract? If it was the opposite way around, and let's say he didn't come to practice for a week, right? Yeah. What do you think would happen in that situation? They would get rid of him. Right. So, maybe. 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 No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. The average player. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. I agree. They'll, get, they'll probably get rid of you and they'll try to tell you, hey, you know what? You're just you're breaking contract and all you're breaking contract. Yeah. But why is it okay for them to break contract? You know what I mean? Why is I it think it's I think I think you know, it's 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 a team, right? Mm -hmm. That represents this city. And most importantly it represents this this province. Right. So obviously majority of the teams, first or second division, however you want to look at it, are in Buenos Aires, Cordoba. Santa Fe, Rosario, this type of stuff. Okay. Right? Just by mathematics. So, like, right now, in first division, there's no teams from this province. Okay. Do you, you get what I mean by that? I kind of do because we're, like, literally at the bottom of the So, US. if you look at it even just from, like, a March Madness standpoint, mm -hmm. right? There's always going to be a Big Ten team in the March. Yeah, okay, okay. There's always going to be this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Always going to be an SEC, always going to be an ACC yeah. team. But when a little Cinderella gets in or like, you know, this type of, like, you know, a team from the Cinderella, it's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. And they really like, you know, they represent something beyond, beyond yeah. just that year. It's like for the generation or for... All the generations, for the Correct. most part. Correct. So, so this team represents a place where most Argentinians don't even consider Argentina. Did you it's know crazy. that? I did not know that. Yeah, like so. It's like, like I remember the first time I came here. Like my teammates were from the north, and like Buenos Aires. Most like half the team was from Buenos Aires, half the team was from Cordoba. So the two biggest cities. Okay. And they're like, "Yo, Kel, don't judge Argentina off this. This isn't like, like you know, like how you would say if someone said they were from." I don't know, bro. Like in the states, somewhere in the boonies, like like Alaska, you would be like, that's oh, okay. not really the states. Yeah, okay, yeah. To be honest with you, if you went to La that's Alaska, like that's not even. And that's basically what this is. We like by Antarctica, Rio Gachelle. We're literally at the very, very bottom of Argentina, like bottom, bottom. Yeah, <laughs> but so so the point is right. Like it's like where the owner or whoever that guy was today, whatever whatever his role title is, I don't know. Sebi. I, I, whatever his title is, whatever his name is, you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it. But, um, like, he's just not being honest. That's all he's not doing. So, like, it's not like I came to, he's like, oh, the people of the town love you. And, like, everyone, like, has this feeling and you're taking this feeling from people. He and said you're taking this feeling from people. Whatever he said, he's playing, he's adding he's some. Trying to play on the emotion. He's adding some emotion. But I'm saying like this, bro. I hit, like, three game winners on this team, mm -hmm. right? In like a week or something like that, some crazy, and then no one really feel out of the game, you know. But then I donated basketballs to a school, mm -hmm. and then I made national news in this country, and then five hundred women's moms and everyone and everyone was saying like, "Oh, you're a genius!" Like, thank you. Like, no one donates shit around here, uh -huh. right? And then I I film a movie in this town, right? Uh -huh. So if you want to get your business straight. Like, nothing you're <laughs> providing me, nothing this team is, like, providing me other than a stage is, like, in me wearing your jersey. It's not like you're saying, hey, Kelsey, do this or anything. I'm just doing that on my own. And right. then they have the nerve to say, like, oh, you're only thinking of yourself. So it's like you're just talking at this point. You're not really bringing any facts to the table. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's like why do people like Kelsey in this town? 
I am the only person mm -hmm. that did something of high level community service in their eyes. Like that's it. Bro. That's the reason why. That's it. It's not. It. It's not like oh, because I was just playing so goddamn good. I'm telling you, it wasn't. If it was that, it would be that. But it's not, bro. I just so happen to be decent at basketball as well. Uh -huh. But it's like what I did off the court right. in the community, bro. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.